When she and I broke up, the loss seemed like every loss I've ever had. When life gives you the permission to know death. My ex-girlfriend ripped me out and tossed my spare parts with an irresponsible abandon. I've begged, if not a memorial service, at least a map as to where I've been scattered. But my voice falls as the righteous sin of attachment rises in an unending, inaudible battle. One more casualty builds up like ashes, wet and damp in my throat, clogging my lungs as my voice reaches for air. At my head is a portal of freeze frames, at my feet, a sitcom series reruns on a loop. I close my mouth so my eyes can wander and click. I hear the trigger. My whale blown back. through. When she and I tore the parts of ourselves from each other's soul, I asked for a memorial service and saw the casket where they put my brother Paul, where I was forced to partake in the viewing so as to ensure a proper grieving process. Last night, she and I slept in the same bed. I woke first and watched her frozen features. I wanted to ask her, how do we know when we've fallen out of love? I folded her hands across her chest. I refused to attend my brother's burial and have never visited his grave. What I do not see, I mourn. The memories analogous to the findings in a tomb. The greatest of excavations are those that erupt in pieces. Pieces once shattered that threaten to never be whole. She and I never see each other. Her epitaph is in my prescription. It allows me to read signs from far away to save myself the distance. Sometimes my brother visits to assure me about the afterlife. At times he says nothing. We just look at who we are, the two of us that will not die. <laughs> 